Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 13-1, set to launch from Launch Complex 39A at NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We are now just around four minutes and counting till SpaceX launches 21 Starlink V2 minis aboard Falcon 9 from the historic Launch Complex. Launching today is Mission 13-1, the first launch into the 13th shell of the Starlink constellation. Falcon 9 Booster 1083 is going for its 8th launch attempt here today after previously supporting Crew-8, Polaris Dawn, CRS-31, Astronis from 1 to Many, and 3 previous Starlink missions. SpaceX's drone ship a short followed Gravitas is stationed downrange in the Atlantic Ocean, ready to recover today's mission. As always, if they need to, they do have a backup opportunity. The next backup is scheduled for Wednesday at 1.07 a.m. Eastern Time. We're hopeful that today's launch will go on time as we do have some of our rocket chasers out in the field hoping to maybe capture, uh, capture a lunar transit launch here tonight. It's a, a very low uh, degree, less than two degrees, so uh, send them your thoughts and hopefully they'll be able to uh, get that view here. Uh, we are waiting for SpaceX to begin their live coverage here. They're running a little bit later into their coverage than normal for us to see uh, the launch complex, so we'll be keeping a close eye on that. As always, if you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those live. And make sure you join us over in the TLP Discord. It's where our community hangs out in between streams, and we would love to see you in there. Oh, 13-2 is on the title. This is supposed to be 13-1. Technology's hard. Um, that was definitely me having a fat finger moment. Let me fix that in the stream title. 13-1 is launching here tonight. As we get started and wait for SpaceX, let us know in the chat where you're watching from. We got Harrison in South Central Pennsylvania, Greg's in Sydney, Australia, Paul is in South Carolina, we got Zane in California. It's great to have you all joining us here as we count down right around two minutes until this expected liftoff from Launch Complex 39A at NASA Kennedy Space Center down here in Florida. I'm not entirely sure why SpaceX is not. Uh, begun their live stream we are watching live a double check there but uh, we should be coming into that last two minutes or so of the count of course we'll sync rt0 with spacex's once they push the button and we're able to see it as we're in those last minute or so of the count uh you can uh let's see that go no go in the chat for you guys you can use those custom tlp launch emotes um, just catching up on the data here. You can send those, yeah, use those custom TLP launcher boats for a go, no go. And it looks like the SpaceX feed is actually buffering, which is interesting. I mean, we'll know if it launched or not here momentarily. Um, so SpaceX has actually ended its feed. Um, but we have not had any confirmation of the dreaded S word, so we will wait to get more information, see if they're having a, a little issue with their feed. It looks like they are, so bear with us just one moment as we get the new feed here. Try to get it. SpaceX definitely having some some hiccups here this evening. Um, we're gonna take our countdown off the screen. We're going to take the laptop on the road, and we are going to go just look out the window and let you know if this thing launched or not uh, while we wait for SpaceX to hopefully get their live feed up and running. I have a orange glow now coming across the sky as we do have confirmation of liftoff of SpaceX Starlink 13-1 launching from Historic Launch Complex 
39A here at NASA Kennedy Space Center. And we're still trying to get the official SpaceX feed up. They have canceled their feed for a second time. Uh, but we do have confirmation of liftoff here tonight. I can see the Falcon 9 soaring through the clouds here, carrying 21 Starlink V2 minis into low Earth orbit. Listen to see if we can hear any of the rumble here tonight. We're going mobile on this. Since SpaceX doesn't have their live broadcast. And we have lost sight of Falcon into the clouds. And there's the rumble. the rumble of Falcon 9 launching from Launch Complex 39A. It has gone hidden behind the clouds. Not much of a view tonight other than the initial glow from liftoff and uh, nothing from SpaceX for a live broadcast just yet. We'll see if we get another one here. There we go. We finally have it. Let's pull that up onto the live broadcast here to follow along with the rest of the mission. We don't even have an overlay from SpaceX here tonight. So very rare coverage coming from SpaceX. Obviously, some little hiccups. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. Nominal trajectories.
Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn shut down. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one transonic. Stage one transonic. Stage one landing burn. Stage two terminal guidance. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And with that, the mission Falcon 9 uh, booster, uh, sorry, Starlink 13-1 with Falcon 9 booster 1083 has landed. We should be having a Seco 1 here in just a moment. Very rare live broadcast from SpaceX where we didn't really get any sort of telemetry or we're now getting the map, but we got no speed, no altitude guesses. So if you put your guesses for how high the first stage booster went tonight, congratulations, you're all winners, because we can't prove you wrong, and SpaceX isn't going to tell us how high it went, I'm sure. But uh, that is going to do it for us for our live coverage of SpaceX Starlink 13-1. We are just hours away from the launch of Starlink 11-8 from Slick 4E on the other side of the country at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, and we hope you'll join us back here for live coverage of that. And of course, you can stay up to date on the latest of the launch calendar by heading over to tlpnetwork.com slash launches. We got a few more Starlinks to get out of the way before we get some Falcon 9 with some customer payloads. We also are counting down to later in the month, the launch of GSLV from India, an electron launch from New Zealand, uh, and who knows what else we'll see on the calendar as we head through the rest of the year. It's a big year for spaceflight, and we hope that you'll stay with us right here on the launch pad. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage. But from our TLP Space Coast studio, my name's Zach, and we will see you in the morning for the launch of SpaceX Starlink 11-8. But for now, we'll see you next time, because space is better together. Good night.